If you are trying to get better at hitting in MLB The Show 22, this is the video for you. In this video, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be telling you hitting tips that will help you be better at hitting in MLB The Show 22. Now, right now in this game, I am 6-0, and last year, I was very solid. I made World Series a good amount of times when I actually tried to play the game. And, uh, you know, I've been 12-0 many times as well. So, uh, I'm pretty solid at this game, and I think my hitting tips will help you at least get a lot better at hitting the baseball and improve... Uh, in MLB The Show 22 because if you cannot hit in MLB The Show 22, you're not going to be able to win games. When you're not winning games, you're probably not going to have fun. So it's always better to get better at hitting so you can have some more fun in MLB The Show 22. And before we get into the tips, if you haven't already, left a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. It would be really appreciated when you turn on notifications, you are able to get notified whenever I drop a video or do a stream. So it would be really appreciated that you have that on. And yeah, we might as well get into the hitting tips. My first tip is going to be your settings. Now I'm going to have the face cam off so you guys are able to see everything. Uh, of course, you want to have your hitting view uh, on whatever view you like. In my opinion, the best view is strike zone, but whatever you feel is good, like strike zone 2, strike zone high, or uh, offset, whatever view you really like, use that view. And of course, if it's your prefer preference, of course, use it. But in my opinion, of course, strike zone is the best because you're, you're right in the middle. I'll just show you right now. This is strike zone. You're able to see everything. It's like the best view. You have the best eye of the pitcher. You have the best eye of the ball. And uh, you're right there. So in my opinion, that's the best view. But if you like another view, something further away, definitely use that. Also, your hitting interface, you want it to be on zone. You do not want to be on directional. Or you, want, you don't want to be in timing. Uh, you will have the most control when you're on zone. And also, almost every competitive player uses this. If you want to play road to the show, definitely use directionals from like that. But zone, if you're trying to be a competitive player, if you're trying to be good at rank and things like that, you definitely want to use it. Every single player that is at least decent at the game uses it. It gives you the most control over an AB. It allows you to have the best chance at making contact with the ball. So definitely use zone. Of course, you want to have your plate coverage indicator on. That's really important so you can have that PCI, that zone showing up so you can see. I know there's some guys like YCAP and all those really, really good players that don't even turn that on. They just have the hitting interface as zone just because they're so good. They don't need the plate indicator on. But if you're new, if you're struggling, you definitely should have it on. Also have your hitting settings, your PCI settings, all to what you want uh my video on the pci should be on the top right or in the link in the description so definitely go watch that it's the best pci it's helping many youtubers out so definitely go uh watch that it will help you with your pci settings after the video uh and yeah that's my first tip getting your settings down packed and uh, let's move on to the next one my second tip is going to be plate discipline and you want to be as disciplined as possible at the plate so you can work the count get into the best situations and try and get the pitches that you want so you can drive and try and get base hits and home runs uh, plate discipline is very important it also allows you to drop the pitcher's confidence down which means the pitcher will be less accurate uh, with their throws and they could either throw you a pitch right down the middle or they could just throw you four four pitches that are just out of the strike zone you can walk with your plate discipline that's going to be really important for you also uh, it will allow you to work the pitchers out and get them out the game a lot sooner especially if they're a tough pitcher like if someone brings in you know uh randy johnson let's say and you work the counts you know you may have not got many hits but you're able to get them to like 80 pitches in four innings uh, you'll definitely get them out by like the fifth inning and you can definitely go to their bullpen and try to hit them as much as possible from there. So working the counts can, you know, get you in the best situation to get hits. And it can also get a pitcher out uh, that you don't want. It can also drive a pitcher's confidence down, which is very good. If you click R2, you'll see the pitcher confidence and energy and it'll also show you the pitcher's uh, pitches as well. Uh, if you can walk and if you can let pitches that are balls, let them go and not swing at them, it will lower. If you swing at outside pitches, or if you swing and miss, or if you, uh, you know, foul a ball off, it'll up the pitcher's confidence, which you don't want, because then they'll be a lot more precise, and they'll be able to make the best pitches as possible. So you definitely want to uh, lower their pitch confidence by having good plate discipline and watching uh, pitches that are balls go by. Just let them go by, don't swing. And uh, knowing the strike zone, knowing what to swing at and what not to swing at, just having good overall plate discipline will help you a lot in MVP to show 22 and of course you can practice that on a custom practice turn up your settings to like a hall of fame or legend because then the pitchers will give you balls and close pitches that you could keep your eye on and you can learn the strike zone just by doing that it's also of course a real life tip uh, if you know the strike zone of course if you play baseball in real life it should be a lot easier to have good plate discipline in this game so 
that is my second tip it's really important you can lower the pitchers pitch confidence and all this stuff with plate discipline my next tip is timing you do not want to be way too early or way too late on a pitch you want to have the just right time you want to be on the good or even perfect now of course perfect is a little harder to get to so you want to be on that earlier side of good because even the late side of good is not that great sometimes you'll have worse results when you're on the late side of good that i've noticed but still you can still get good results on the late side of good you just want to be in that range of good area uh, you got to recognize when the pitcher is throwing the ball and uh, their motion as well. Like a roll this Chapman, you're going to have to time him up, especially uh, with the 99 plus fastball. You have to realize when he's throwing the ball, when he's releasing it. And also, of course, you got to know how fast he's throwing. And then you got to swing accordingly to uh, when uh, the ball gets to where you want to be able to swing. Of course, if it's an outside pitch, you want to take it the other way. You want to be a little later on that. And if it's inside pitch, you want to be a little earlier on that. So you're able to catch up to it and you can drive it into left or right field, depending on what type of batter you have. So uh, timing is extremely important. If you're on the late side of good, you're going to have a worse result. That at least what I've noticed uh, than if you're on the earlier side of good. And of course, you want to be as perfect as possible. But you're not always going to get perfect, perfect, obviously. So try to be on the earlier side of good and that will help you with ton having earlier side of good will give you the best results that i've seen of course besides perfect perfect so timing is extremely important if you're not on time if you're a swinging a bit too late you're going to have a lot worse results you're going to get jammed you're going to get weak contact which you don't want you want to drive the ball you want to have the best timing as possible so that is my third tip my next tip is pitch recognition and that's an extremely important tip you want to know when a fastball is coming when a slider change whatever pitch is coming you want to know out of the hand what is coming out you can kind of tell when a fastball or a sinker is coming it's coming out the hand a lot harder and uh, it looks a lot more straighter than if you see a slider they've honestly made the pitch uh, recognition in this game a lot easier because you'll see like some guys in real life they'll throw a a ball that looks like a fastball and then all of a sudden just drops and it's a curveball just like that if you look at some of these pitch pitching ninja uh clips you'll see these guys they'll throw a, a pit fastball and they'll throw a, a curveball and it'll just look the exact same until the end so you can see it's a lot easier on this show you can see the curveball it'll loop a little more than a fastball it'll be directly straight or if it's a two seamer it'll go a little bit in depending on who of course is pitching uh, also a slider you'll able to see how it curves a slurve as well you'll see and you'll be able to recognize which pitch is coming so you're able to time them up of course goes hand in hand with timing if you know what pitch is coming if you know uh, if you're recognizing the pitches that are coming you're able to time it up a little better if you know it's a fastball you can see how uh, straight and hard it is you definitely want to uh, be a little bit earlier if it's a curveball you can adjust that and you see it looping you hit that you uh, take a little longer and uh, take it the other way or something like that so uh, of course recognizing the pitch is always important that is of course a really big tip so that's extremely important and then my next tip is feeling on the PCI if you want to have a light touch on the PCI if you're too rough on the PCI you're gonna be jamming it uh, which you don't want a lot of people have that problem I used to have that problem as well where I jam my PCI it's because you are really hard on that left stick you want to have a soft touch you don't want to be too soft obviously because then you'll be too loose uh, but you also want to have like this like middle ground of soft but not too soft to where you're able to move the PCI around and you're not jamming it because if you're jamming it let's say someone throws it uh, middle in you're gonna maybe pull it all the way up in or all the way low and in it all depends on you know where you're jamming your PCI so if you have a slight touch on the PCI it will help you a ton that is real it's really up to how you feel obviously my slight touch could be a little more different to you but uh, you, you'll feel it when you're not too rough on it and you're not too light on it it'll be that perfect middle ground so you need to have that good feeling on the PCI of course you can practice that trust some practice which also uh, my next tip is uh, just you know practicing custom practice you are able to check your settings out you are able to practice on pitches that you struggle on like let's say you struggle on inside fastballs you can practice with that you can have you know the pitcher throw you inside fastballs you can click that it goes into custom practice obviously and uh, you know it, it really helps so you need to practice as much as possible to get as good as possible really practicing helped me become a lot better of a player so it really helps also of course if you want to get a control freak that also helps as well because a lot of people do use that i don't personally i just you know i don't really care it doesn't really help me but also use that that's also on the a feeling of pci thing 
uh, use a control freak if you want to have better feeling on that practice makes perfect uh, practice it will help you a ton if you do this like let's say you go on hall of fame put custom practice for 15 minutes before you go into a ranked game you'll feel a lot better and you'll be able to hit a little more than if you just didn't practice so practice 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 if you want to get better at movie show or just anything in general always practice and uh, yeah those are my hitting tips you enjoy leave a like subscribe to the channel hopefully these tips helped you they were pretty basic but these are just the overall things that helped me become better at movie the show and uh, yeah i love y'all thanks for watching peace